Hello and welcome to the Steve and Mead Review. I'm Steve and this is Mead. And today we discuss where the wild things are. Starring Trent Keener and introducing Max Records. And a small part from Mark Ruffalo. Was in the, he was in this for about one Two scene. seconds. Two seconds, basically. Wild Things Are was, for the most part, not a favorite for me. I mean, I don't like... It's the book? The book was all right. I mean, mm-hmm. I, yes, my generation grew up reading this book. That was and, like one of my favorite books when I was... Yeah, for me, me too. Watching this movie, I felt like it, it, it had a whole bunch of scenes that were completely unnecessary. And it's hard to make a movie from a book that's only about, what, like 10 sentences long or (laughs) something like that. Uh, A lot of these scenes, like I said, were unnecessary, and I didn't feel like they needed to be in there. The the first 10 minutes of the movie, I think, didn't need to be in the movie at all. I did notice that a lot of the so-called wild things were a little more um, somewhat less scary than they were in the book. You got a lot of, over and over again, it's one emotional breakdown after another, and that gets old real quick. I mean, how many times can people, like, sit around moping about hurt feelings and have it still be interesting? That's all this movie is, as far as I can tell. One person beat a whiner after another. With all the emotional outbursts and stuff, I was like... Just give me a break. You yeah. know, you're a giant monster, but you're, you're whining like a little bitch. <laughs> exactly. You know, like, you have the power to, like, destroy a tree with one finger, and then you're crying that you got mud in your eye. It is a kid's movie, so uh, you can't expect them to uh, take on anything too serious. Uh, but I was watching this movie, you know, hoping that it would appeal to adults as well, um, but it really doesn't to do that too well. Uh, I'm sure it's better than a lot of kids' movies, um, but it's definitely, definitely just for kids. When you're talking about how the monsters are not scary, I think it's just because the monsters are really just a bunch of kids themselves. Uh, yeah. They're they're just really juvenile, uh, gullible Dumb. monsters. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of how they were in the book, but uh, they in the book they seemed a little more you know frightening. Mm-hmm. And in the in the film, they kind of seemed a little more like cartoonish and childlike with their faces and stuff. That's um, one thing that I did like about the book when I was a kid is the monsters, you know, were scary yeah. and stuff, and I liked that when I was a kid. All the f- scenes with like the so-called like um, playing around and fighting and stuff like that wasn't in the book. Like <laughs> I don't understand why you even added those scenes at all. Everybody has fun until somebody gets hurt, and then everybody, you know, starts crying about it. Yeah. Which I guess is kind of, uh, kind of what it's really like when you're a kid. You know, you're all having fun, and then somebody gets hurt. And it's it ruins the mood. But, yeah. For what it was, Mike Jones did a good job, like trying to make his own interpretation of the book. But, like I've said, it's really difficult to make a movie out of a book that was only ten sentences long. The so-called kid in this movie, uh, Max Records, um, was his first movie ever, and um, he he did a good job for what the movie was. But if he he w- if he was in any other role, he probably would have been a really bad actor. I think I'll give this movie a C. Uh, I think it's probably a good movie for kids. It, it didn't capture my heart at yeah, all. But it, but it wasn't I don't too know about bad Steve, watching. But no, it didn't make me cry. So. <laughs> And I felt like it should have. The, but the, it didn't. They try to pull your heartstrings, but really, it's just like, get it over with. Yeah, you know? just get it over with. I agree with Steve. I'll, I give this movie a C as well.